Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Good morning from the Ronald, Ronald McDonald House. Now one might think that they serve McDonald's here at the Ronald McDonald House. They do not, or at least I haven't experienced yet. They just have cups and things like that. So today is uh, Friday, March 22nd, which is a huge day, big day. It's Kendall's last day of radiation treatment. And this video is a bit of a follow-up from last week where she started radiation. And we went through and explained that whole process, what that looks like. But I promised you guys that I'd follow up and let you know how things progressed. Did her symptoms get worse? What's been happening? And, and all those sorts of things. Now, she has done so far six days of treatments, which is a total of 12 treatments because she's been getting two treatments a day. So today being day seven and treatments number 13 and 14, big day today. Kendall, good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling today? I'm good. Yeah? How's radiation been so far? Good. Are you ready to be done with it? Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> uh, you got any jokes for us today? Yes. Go for it. Knock, knock. Who's there? I see. I see who? I see you looking at me. <laughs> Good one. All right. Let's go do this thing. Okay. It is just getting colder and colder every day here. Man. So far, Kendall's symptoms haven't really been all that bad. She's been nauseous a little bit here and there, although she did throw up once uh, early one morning, but I don't know if that was from radiation symptoms or if that was because we went to a football game at Yankee Stadium and ate a bunch of hot dogs and popcorn and stuff like that. But it was really fun. And we did that because my buddy Greg invited us and Greg is actually the guy who connected us with MSK initially and he has a daughter that also had neuroblastoma and she and Kendall got to hang out and talk and uh, they compared scars and that sort of thing. It was a lot of fun. And I think it was really nice for Kendall to be able to spend time with somebody who has been through it and is on the other side of it and doing so well. Uh, I, I think that kind of gives her maybe maybe a little light at the end of the tunnel that like she'll get through this and she will be okay. Although I don't think she believes that she won't be okay. I don't think any of us do. I think we all have tons of conviction. Kendall's gonna be just fine. And really, I guess technically she's doing fine right now, right? We just have to, gotta get through it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Awesome. Say My thank you. Color. Yeah. Thank you. All right, ready to do this? Yeah. Last day. I love how Kendall just walks in here like she owns the place. And she just has so much confidence and so much bravado, you know, and she just hops up on the table, the machine, like she just couldn't care less about the whole thing. Like she's hardly bothered by it. Of course she gets annoyed from time to time, but man, that kid is just so stinking awesome. Okay, one treatment down, one to go. And just because she hasn't had that many symptoms yet doesn't mean she couldn't still have some because you know, radiation is like a cumulative type of thing. So the more she does it, the more the dose sort of builds up. And they said that she could have these symptoms for as long as like a couple of weeks. So anyways, now, Kendall, you got about six hours to kill before your next treatment. You go have some fun? Yeah. Now we haven't really been doing a lot uh, each day in between treatments all week. But today, we're gonna go get one last ice skate in before this evening's treatment, and then we fly home tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 
that was the Museum of Ice Cream. Uh, pretty wild experience. Kendall, what did you think about that? It was the funnest thing ever. Yeah? What was your favorite part? The sprinkle pool. The sprinkle pool? Wasn't the ice cream? No, it wasn't. It was like all the playing in the sprinkle pool and all that stuff? There were swings indoor. There was a, like a climbing thing. There was a sprinkle pool. There was a ball pit. And that was so fun. And there was also ice cream, obviously. All right, well, you ready to go do your last treatment? Yes. And ring that bell? Yes. Can we skip to the good part? All right, Kendall. You are officially done. Now, hold on. Don't say we're going to bell you out. All right. It is officially Kendall's last day of radiation. She has finished all of her treatments. Kendall, go ahead and ring that bell. You're officially done with radiation. Yeah. One step closer to being done with all this. How do you feel? Good. How do you feel? Let me hold the microphone. It's like I'm interviewing her. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel about this? Good. <laughs> I couldn't be more proud of you. You are an absolutely amazing kid. You know that? Mm -hmm. You are incredible. You're so strong and you're so brave. And you inspire a lot of people watching. You have such a good attitude. So keep it up, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you. you so much. We are gonna head back to the Ronald McDonald house, try to get everything packed up so we can fly home to be with the rest of the family tomorrow and move on to the next phases of treatment. If you guys wanna follow along, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when we post new videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.